Whenever I go to a convention, I like to film everything and uh, like document everything and compile it all into one awesome epic adventure for y'all to watch. And just under a year ago, I did exactly that for Anime North 2017 and it was gonna be awesome. But I went on hiatus from YouTube shortly after I got back from Anime North and it never got made. And with Anime North 2018 just around the corner, it's almost pointless for me to put in the effort required to make 2017's vlog as epic as I would have wanted it to be or even to put it out at all. But it was still a really awesome weekend, and I do want y'all to see exactly how awesome it was. So I decided to make like a shortened, like abridged version, if you will, of the weekend that we had at Anime North 2017, and I promise for Anime North 2018, you'll get the real deal. With all that being said, sit back, relax, I hope you enjoy. This is my Anime North 2017 in a nutshell. My crew for 2017 consisted of my roommate Michelle, my sister Faye, my girlfriend Jess, and my Twitch mod from the States, Vector Maximus. It was about a four hour journey from North Bay, Ontario, where we live, to Toronto, Ontario, where the convention is held. So we went a day early so that we can check into our hotel at the International Airport, do a little exploring around Toronto, and then be fully ready for day one. Hey, vlogging so much. We made it to day one of Anime North. I'm with all these, all these snazzy people. Say, say hi. Oh my god. Day one was great. It usually always is great. Like you roll up to your convention, you start seeing all the people in cosplay everywhere, and then the oh shit, this is happening sort of feeling sets in. And let me tell you, there was some amazing cosplay this year. While there was a lot of really good cosplay on day one, my crew and I personally didn't cosplay until day two, which I'm really excited for you all to see. And unlike G Anime and Gatineau, the dealer's room at Anime North opens day one. So we decided to go right away, because let's face it, who needs money when you have Animu? But we made it into the dealer's room, which is right at the entrance now. Uh, what are you looking for? Booty mouse pad, what Booty are you looking pad. for? Uh, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon, right on. What are you looking for? Nendroids. Nendroids. Every year I've gone to the Anime North dealer's room, there's always a crazy amount of variety. Like, if you can't find something that makes you want to spend your money, then you're probably doing it wrong. What'd you get? I got, I got Best Girl Red. Oh. <laughs> now on top of the dealer's room, Anime North has this really cool thing called Namanichi, Nam Namanamichi, I don't, I don't know. It's like this giant anime garage sale where people bring all of their paraphernalia and stuff that they don't want anymore, they set up tables, and they just sell it. You can get DVD box sets, figures, uh, old video games, the sky's the limit, it's whatever people's junk they're throwing away basically. And I did end up finding some pretty cool stuff. I got a few figures and I even found this old school Lord of the Rings Legolas action figure that I used to have as a kid. Uh, so that was really cool. And while I was there, I actually ran into one of my subscribers. As in someone who watches me on the internet and likes what I make, which was awesome. It's a nominee I'm poor now. It's great. But look who I found. Holy shit. Introduce yourself. Who are you? What do you do, man? What's going on, guys? It's BGM Dude here. Check out my channel on YouTube at BGM Dude. See you guys. I'm not even really used to people knowing who I am, and I I honestly prefer when people don't know who I am. It was really cool meeting someone who, you know, likes what I do and supports what I does, and it was a really cool experience. And even though I met up with most of my YouTuber friends on day two and it was a mother monkey blast, I did run into one YouTuber friend on day one that I was pretty stoked to see. Oh my god! Matt. <laughs> Matt. Ian Miles was really cool. He's a really talented voice actor, and I'd worked with him on a few projects before, but this was uh, the first time I had met him in person, so it was a really cool experience. Wow, you're a taller in person! <laughs> I am! Oh my god, I thought you'd be like my height. You'd be even shorter. I can like, I can squat down. Is this on YouTube? Is it on YouTube? <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! Run! Run! Ah! 
I am Flaming Guitar 14 on the YouTubes, Purple Hat with Pin on Tumblr, M Dimitrovsky VA on Twitter. I'm friggin' everywhere, man. Give give the man a sub, because he's, yes. he's a cool cat. Well, thank you! <laughs> It was a great first day. Uh, our feet were wet, not literally, and we were ready for day two, which means we had cosplays to get ready, we had friends to meet up with, and an intense game of archery tag to play? Oh yeah. So it's day two, uh, it's nine? Is it nine? It is, uh, yeah, it's, like 9.02. It's 9.02, even better. Do we have a game plan for today, or are we just kind of going? Fudge is good at Oh yeah, we're gonna be a snazzy bunch of uh, ladies and gents, so uh, you'll get to see all of that very, very soon. Lego! Day two was interesting. Uh, we all went in cosplay for day two. Uh, Jessica went as Uta from Tokyo Ghoul. Michelle went as Hong Solo, so it's like Han Solo, but She's Asian. Faye dressed up as Frisk from Undertale, and I dressed up as Mako from Kill a Kill. Which, trust me, is really hard to play archery tag in. As soon as we got to the Congress Center for day two, we immediately began searching for my friends from the YouTube channel, Anime Uproar. for the first time is always a little bit daunting, especially when you're wearing a schoolgirl outfit. That definitely, definitely doesn't fit. But hanging out with them was the coolest thing ever. Uh, I found Animac and Gozen hanging out with Briggs from All Day Anime. Uh, we're all part of the same weekly podcast called Rain Cafe, so, and it was really cool to finally be able to meet these people that I hadn't really met in person before. Look who the hell I found! What's up guys? Who are you? What do you do? Hey, what's up guys? My name is Animac and I make like videos about fashion and makeup. <laughs> nice! And what about you, good sir? Said, when you guys see this video and it has a million views, check out our channel, Anime Uproar, right over here. Anime sunglasses. Who else I found? Holy shit! Ah! Right here. What? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> this is all day anime. What? The one, the only. Thank you, dude. Wait till you can see it again. It's like 10,000 subscribers. What? Holy shist. Oh, yeah, what's up? 10,000 subscribers. Yeah. Congrats on the 10K. Also, his channel will be in the description. At, uh, yeah, at, Lu at Luffy.com Luffy forward slash <laughs> One Piece. <laughs> And while we were all saying hi and hanging out and stuff, we actually stumbled upon uh, Jojo Talks Too Much, who's another YouTube friend of ours. Thought we found everybody, but we found Muck and Jojo. What's up? What's up? I have candy. He has candy. So his channel will be in the le 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 description. So check that out. a lot taller than I thought you would be. Right? I thought you were all going to be taller than me for some reason. I'm a hobbit, so that's how, that's, it's convenient how that works out. That's true. I'm, I'm a hobbit who just had a growth spurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's pretty much the same. But jo Jojo, ladies and gentlemen. Dude! And with all of Canada's finest Anatubers under the same roof, we decided the only right thing to do would be to face each other in a brutal game of archery tag. Archery tag was brutal. <laughs> But awesome, but awesome. The staff had us warm up by taking practice shots at Briggs, which was already worth the five dollars I paid to play. Look at Briggs getting shot with the narrow, cause he's Briggs. Predictions? Um, I think we'll win, man. Oh yeah? Back we'll here, predictions. We win. We win? Animax, predictions. I'm gonna win. Oh yeah? I'm gonna, I don't know how you win, I don't know the rules, but I'm going to win. I believe it's a type of, uh, there's a specific amount of hits per team. By the way, can you uh, see Max nice camera through my shades? Because if you can, it's a really nice Canon camera. Ooh, thank you. He's trying to butter me up so that I don't shoot him. No, He's scared. No. Look at, the, okay. look at the fear in those shades. You can see them. <laughs> Jojo, predictions. Predictions? Uh, I just destroy. No contest. Just destroy Animac? Just Animac. 
<laughs> Only <laughs> anime. Just that. Jess, predictions. Okay. What? Predictions. No, You're gonna die. Okay. After some practice and some shit talking, we were armed with helmets and bows and sent into the arena to destroy each other. Fight! Let me tell you right off the bat, playing archery tag in a skirt as a dude isn't easy. I probably ate shit about three or four times. In the end, my team lost because we obviously let them win. But nevertheless, it was still a really fun game. Who's team one, baby? Team Dai Guren won. You know what? Why? Day two was 100% my favorite day. Uh, it was so awesome to meet up with all of these YouTube friends that I had never even been in the same room in until now. Jojo, Briggs, Animat, Gozen, they're all super amazing guys. Uh, it was an honor to finally get the chance to hang out with them. All their links for their YouTube channels will be in the description below. I highly suggest you check each and every one of them out. After a bit more roaming, cos watching, and some good old fashioned shenanigans, we decided to declare day two officially over. Day three, it's the final day. We're all tired, we're all hangry, we're all sleepy. We wanna go home, but got a, got a little bit left to do. Animac has a panel today, we're gonna go see that. And uh, I think I'm just gonna buy all the stuff I need to do, be poor, and then uh, go home and call it a year. Thanks for following, it's been, uh, it's been a slice. By the time day three came around, we were all exhausted, and we were ready to go home for sure, but we all felt pretty fulfilled. At least I felt totally fulfilled with that weekend. Like I, I felt like I did everything that I went there to do that year, plus more. And day three was also really cool because Animac from Anime Uproar actually had a panel this year at Anime North on anime and philosophy. Here with the goose, one half, one half of Anime Uproar, the other half's over there. And like the room was packed and there were really good questions coming from the crowd. Uh, there were some really good topics on philosophical themes in anime and kind of what they mean. It's a lot of Machiavelli and Nietzsche in Cold Geass in my, in my opinion. And it was really cool seeing a friend of mine who had grinded on YouTube relentlessly since day one, uh, speaking in front of so many people uh, and just succeeding. And I, I really like seeing my friends succeed and go places with what they do. And um, it was a really cool experience to see Animac up there doing his thing. Other than that, day three wasn't too crazy. Uh, we said our goodbyes to our friends. We checked out of our hotel. We headed home and we decided to call 2017 a year. I've been going to Anime North since about 2014, I believe. I'm still a bit of a newcomer. Uh, but this year, 2017, by far, was the most fun I've had at a convention ever. But the panels were great, the cosplay was awesome, uh, I got to meet old friends, make new friends, and it was one of the first big things I got to do with my girlfriend Jess. At the time of the convention, we had maybe just started dating, like, a week before or something like that. Uh, so this was one of the first big trips that we had gotten to take together, so I, I feel like this year will always be one of the tops for me. Uh, I'll, I'll always look back on this weekend and think of it fondly. And she was okay with me wearing a schoolgirl outfit, so you know at that point, it's, it's meant to be. Again, I am so sorry that I couldn't get this out on time. Uh, this was supposed to be out 10 months ago, and I'm sorry I couldn't do it to the caliber I wanted it to. I kind of had to cut a lot of stuff out. But Anime North 2018 is just around the corner. My camera is ready, my crew is selected, my hotel is booked. I promise this year I will give you a vlog to remember that is out on time and will feature even more awesome friends. So hey, if you want to be a part of my 2018 adventure, you know where to find me. See you then. Perhaps.
rather than beyond words and conceptions and definitions, beyond space and time, all that ever is, is the totality of what we are.